one of the most exciting young players is 19-year-old Bakayo Saka. From the moment Arsenal scouted me, I think there was only one choice. I do remember the scouts approach your parents and they give them like a card with the Arsenal badge on. I remember getting into the car and my dad showing me and I think I just took the card and I just held it for me for a few days with me. As a kid, you know, you play for fun and then when you see the teams that you're watching on TV are calling for you, you know, it's special. So I was really excited and I wanted to get started straight away. Bakayo played for England in the final of the European Championship. He was chosen to take the last kick in the penalty shootout. So Bukayo Saka now. It was the biggest moment in English football in over 50 years. Please, Saka, I believe in you. You've been so good this tournament. Come on, mate. The 19-year-old has to score this. in the shootout, it's poor Bukayo Saka who misses the crucial one. After his miss, Bukayo was the target of a wave of racial abuse. His performance in the tournament and the way he handled the attention made him a household name. Oh my gosh. If you step to take that penalty, you're a hero for me. I don't, obviously, his score is he's better. I understand me well. But for me, what he's doing right now and how humble he is, and it's great because it's from the academy and he's, he's Arsenal through and through. But people do not realize the pressure of being the one that's going to make it. And got to be that when you step on the field. You have to be that. But then, People do not care about how you feel as a human being. And this is where it becomes difficult. You know, I think before I could just do normal things, you know, but I can't really do them anymore. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> At home, if I cook, my egg is well done, so. Yeah, you don't cook, what do you mean I don't cook, bro? <laughs> Flo, what did I tell you I did yesterday? He says he, he, says he apparently went to Wexford to grab a meal. Bro, on my life, bro, I swear, the whole staff waited outside for me, bro. What? Bro, I walked in here, yeah. I think they must have recognised me. And then... You had the hood on? Bro, I had my hood on, my mask, that like, here. And they still recognised me. Bro, when I was leaving, bro, that the whole, like, Eight staff were waiting outside at the entrance. Like, back on the No, they were just, as soon as I came out, they were like, oh, a picture. <laughs> bro, I had my hood on and my mask, bro. I don't know what more I can do, bro. When I was a kid, I didn't really think about this side, you know, I just thought about the football side. I didn't really know about off the pitch stuff, you know, the media and stuff like that. But yeah, I think, I don't think I would change it because. You know, I'm still living the dream that I've always dreamt. 